Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. After a few busy weeks at Santa Anita Park with several Breeders' Cup prep races, we're back this week to once again continue our preview of the Breeders' Cup Distaff. Wow, the Distaff shaping up to be a great race. It looks like the field is taking shape. And we have three logical contenders that we'll discuss today. And then next week we'll take a look at some of those that could provide the upset or possibly just to look for value underneath in the exotic wagers. But first off, let's talk about the almost certain favorite the undefeated three-year-old filly Songbird. The daughter of Medaglia Dioro has continued in her perfect ways, and she's 7-for-7 seven seven in 2016 after dominating the West Coast earlier in the year. Jerry Hollendorf for Fox Hill Farm, Shipper East. She takes two grade ones at Saratoga, and then most recently perhaps her most impressive performance in the Cotillion at Parks. Wow, she rated that day off the pace and just rolled against arguably the best field she's faced. Karina Mia, Catherine Sophia, the Oaks winner. What an effort by Songbird. She continues to dazzle. She will be the favorite, but she will be tested by older fillies and mares for the first time. I can't wait to see it. It seems as if she's been almost a lock on paper in the majority, if not all, of her races. It'll be nice to see her take on the best of the older ladies in the division at Santa Anita Park on the Friday feature on Breeders' Cup weekend. And the top two logicals to give her the biggest run for her money are the two that have been banging heads at Del Mar and Santa Anita over the past few months. Stellar Win and Beholder have traded blows with Stellar Win coming out 2-1. to one. She won the rubber match last time in the Zenyatta with a very similar trip and ride from jockey Victor Espinoza stalking Beholder from the outside. The four-year-old Curlin filly for John Sadler and Hironis Racing is continuing to improve in each race. Victor Espinoza has fit this filly to a T, stalking Beholder perfectly both races and getting her in the lane. It'll be interesting, though, to see how things go for Stellar Win with another filly, uh, Songbird, that is, and maybe others out in front. Beholder really did not want to be on the lead in these races and drew the inside. I think that worked to Stellar Win's advantage. We'll see how her trip goes with a more full field, likely, and a better quality other than uh, stellar win and Beholder in the race. I can't wait to see it. And then, of course, you have Beholder, the six-year-old champion mayor, Richard Mandela, B. Wayne Hughes for Spendthrift Farm. You know, what can you say? She's been incredible, but she struggled, comparatively speaking, in her last three races, th three seconds, started out at Del Mar in the Clement Del Hirsch, then was dominated by California Chrome in the Pacific Classic, and then you had her getting beat again in the Zenyatta at Santa Anita. But as I mentioned, the trip is going to be key in here. Beholder prefers to stalk from the outside, in my opinion, and in many opinions, um, but she's been forced to be on the lead due to uh, you know the, the race dynamics in her last uh, couple, uh, besides the Pacific Classic, of course, where Chrome took the lead. If Beholder can draw outside her rivals and stalk Songbird, I don't put it past Richard Mandela to have her ready to run another monster in the Breeders' Cup. So it'll be very interesting to see how this is drawn and see what long shots might have a say early. Songbird's been so tactical that she's been on the lead in most races but able to relax as we saw in the Cotillion. I don't know how it'll set up, but I do know that Beholder will not be on the lead up unless you know she draws the rail or inside of her rivals again. She just is better off with a target. So there you have it. Songbird, the almost certain favorite in the race, coming in undefeated for Hollendorfer. Stellar win, probably the second choice, but it remains to be seen whether she will be bet more than Beholder. Last time, Beholder took significantly more money, despite Stellar win beating her in the Hirsch in the Zenyatta. Um, we'll see. They both will take the second and third amount of money. And then next week, we'll visit some of the... Um, you know, longer shot or value horses, Cavorting, Forever Unbridled, Carolina, uh, and those, and see if they actually have a shot to compete or whether maybe a minor reward is their best opportunity. But 
Distaff this year going to be great. The final race on Friday afternoon at Santa Anita in the Breeders' Cup. Looking forward to it immensely. Until then, enjoy Keeneland, enjoy Santa Anita and Belmont, and good luck at the windows this weekend.